There's something jumping out of the water over there. What is that? A fish just jumped out there. Great, I don't even know how to work this line. All right, so I think I actually got something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these are the ways, these are the ways. All right, so right now it's around 1120. I'm headed out to Half Moon Bay. First time taking this kayak out. I've got a whole setup. I've been working on it for a while. So we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of worried that, I don't know, I'm gonna lose some gear or like, I'm not too worried about the kayak sinking because I know the integrity is pretty good. It did fall off my van going around 65 miles per hour when I picked it up three weeks ago. So that's the main thing I'm worried about right now. I tied it so much better this time on my car, a Honda Accord Coupe with a Yakima Jetstream baseline system. So that should hold up. I've got some ratchet straps on there. I don't know what else I could do to keep it on, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be going out there to crab and fish. And I don't really do that much fishing with poles. So I can't remember the last time I fished with the pole. Usually I spear fish, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm around a mile and a half out from where I started, and I just pulled over just now just to make sure that all the ratchet straps are tight. It's actually recommended that you stop after a while and make sure that all your straps for your kayak or whatever you have strapped down on your roof are tight enough after it's been shaked around a little bit. So that's what I did. Everything seemed pretty tight. I tightened it up a tiny bit more just to make sure. We're about to start on the freeway right now. And I definitely don't want what happened last time to happen this time. So I picked up this kayak and a bunch of other gear for around $300 from this guy up north. I'm in California, San Jose, and this guy was, I don't exactly know the name of the town, but it was near the Russian River, so way past San Francisco. And I never used ratchet straps before, so he helped me out with putting the kayak on the roof of the van. And we thought it was all good. We stopped to eat. Then on the way back, we're on the highway going around 65 miles per hour. And the kayak just blew off and it was not good. No one was injured, thankfully, but it was not good. Okay, so we're on the freeway now. So many updates about this but the thing is i'm really worried about this kayak i know i strapped it down really well but still like if this kayak falls off on the re main freeway it's not gonna be good and i really do not like how the kayak sounds i don't know if you can hear it let me turn down the music you hear this I don't like how that sounds. It just sounds like it's gonna fall off at any instant. It does not make me too confident. Now, some people just put foam blocks on the top of their car instead of buying like a $500 roof rack system. But since I had the kayak fall off last time, I'd rather pay $100 to $500, whatever. I'd rather pay that, get something nice and secure, then put a foam block on, which half the people who bought it say that it falls off sooner or later, and then end up paying $500 for someone's windshield, or even worse, hurting someone. So I'm gonna try to keep the speed limit just 65. So it might take a bit to get there, but all right, next time I'll update, I'll be there. So 
so look at that beautiful day out you see all that smoke so healthy for the lungs my car is also not working i don't know what's wrong with it but now all these signs are on i don't know if you can see all these signs a little bit of an update my car's battery turned off it was feeling a bit weird and it turned off and now we're gonna try to push it back and give it a jump start so we're jump starting it it should be back up soon i think maybe because i went to the drive-in last night and had it on maybe it was just a battery problem that's what i'm hoping this is how the kayak looks on here it's pretty big it's almost like just four feet smaller than my car not long after we turned on the car after we gave it a jump start it turned off and right now we're on the side of the hill going westbound towards half moon bay we're gonna take all the stuff all the gear in the trunk and in the car and we're just going to put it in my mom's van and then we might even have to put the kayak on top of that van and just take the whole kayak rack put it on the van see if we can get it up there so that way if my car has a bad alternator and it's not just the battery that's gone we can still go go out so let's see what happens we just moved it from that car to there while i was pretty optimistic that we would be able to just transfer everything to the van and then the tow truck would be able to come pick this car up and then drop it off at my house it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now i just called AAA again and they let me know that they haven't found a tow truck that's able to do that long drive right now and they don't know when they're gonna find it so it might not happen and if it's so late that i can't go out maybe today's just not the day for that and that's okay i kind of figured there'd be certain problems and certain obstacles to going out the first day I didn't really expect the best but if we can still go out we can still go out it's gonna be super fun if we can and if we can't then maybe next week and here we are waiting all right so that's trip away back there just took my car bye so much traffic all right, we're taking it in. I've got my rod right there, fishing net, crab trap. We're gonna try to go out of the jetty, get some rock crab, hummingbird fish finder, just a jacket I'm borrowing, cause I forgot one. I always forget my jackets. And then up front, I have my speaker play some tunes and then mesh bag along with the stringer if we get anything today it is pretty late I only have two hours out here I didn't even think we were gonna get here because there was a lot of traffic on the one on the way up so this is better than nothing though all right this is the first row of the kayak <laughs> I've not kayaked in a long time. I'm in like two feet of water, by the way. So we don't have the fish finder down yet, but I'm really glad that this paddle holder I put on, it's not getting in the way of the paddle itself. I really thought that since I put the paddle holder on the side, that it would get in the way of paddling. Okay, so one thing I could do better is that this transducer mount, it's not tight enough, so as I paddle, it's just going way out to the side, getting in the way of the paddle and coming out of the water. The fish finder, though, works super well, super clear. I was kind of worried it would be kind of hazy. Not really that clear, but it's really good. I thought I'd need this jacket, but right now it's, it's kind of hot. We're not even where we want to be right now. We need to be all the way over there. I'm not even, well, I think maybe I'm halfway. I'm going like 
3.5 miles per hour, you know, speeding. So just saw the nemesis, I mean in the sea lion. Because he's always taking my bait from crab traps, breaking the crab boxes. And I'm almost at the jetty. I don't know how people do this. This is pretty tiring. I know all this video is crooked. The rail blaze them out. Wasn't really the best. Like every time I I paddle, it just turns. I don't think I'm gonna get it to stay on. At least not today. Maybe I'll fix it later. But yeah, it's just not staying on. I'm trying to get trying to get over there. Just right past. See if I could drop a crab trap or something over there. Yeah, we're at 21 feet. Not so much. I actually thought it would be deeper out here, but I guess not. All right, so it's a bit deeper at the end of the jetty. Right now I'm reading 33 feet. So I guess that's, that's pretty deep, just right off the end of the jetty. There's a bunch of boats coming and going from here. I'm trying to make sure I'm not in anyone's way. I'm kind of worried about getting run over by a boat or something. I'll stay close to the shore. It's actually a bit of swell. Like a bit more than I thought there would be. It's pretty stable, but still. Still a bit more. Like I'm going up and down on like two foot waves. And I think people waste a lot. I feel nervous. A lot of commotion going down over there. I don't know what that is. Wow, there are a lot of waves over there. It's super choppy. What are those? There's something jumping out of the water over there. What is that? Whoa. Whoa, what are those? The water's super choppy over there. But like, it's only in the streamlined way, not as in everything super choppy. Alright, we're at 56 feet. You know what? I think that just to be safe, I should put this uh, life jacket on. I should have had it on earlier, I know. Alright, so I, I just put the life jacket on. I should have done that earlier. Here's what I'm going to be using. I don't really know how to use it much. Guess I'm just going to try to hit bottom. I might just end up fishing today instead of grabbing. It might be too much, too much hassle just to grab and fish at the same time. So. Great, I don't even know how to work this line. So I know this is a tension, but I just don't know how much tension I should be putting or, or really anything. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whoa, there was a fish just jumped out there. That was crazy. So, I mean, at least I know there's fish. I don't know what they want to eat though. So, hopefully they appreciate this. Just waiting for this boat to pass. I'm about to be riding some waves. My fish jumped out of the water over there, so I mean, there's fish here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, these are the waves. These are the waves. All right, so I think I actually got something. It feels tiny, but you know what? I wasn't expecting to get anything, so it feels like something small. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. You know what? I'm crazy. It was nothing. I'm just not used to having these huge weights on. Okay, so if I'm going for link cod, I want to be like maybe five feet, 10 feet above the surface. Link cod tend to stay on the bottom because they don't have swim bladders and they're lazy. They're also like the dominant hunters in the area typically. So they don't need to do that much work. So 
I tried to tie it back on. It didn't work. I got too far from where I dropped it and the line slipped. This rod I've never used before, so I probably shouldn't have brought this one. All right, I guess, whoa, I guess fate's decided it then. I'm crabbing today. All right, full speed ahead against the swell. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. I wish you would listen to me sometimes. By sometimes, I mean all the time. Because you listen to me sometimes. GoPro, stop recording. Okay. This is what I'm going to do differently next time. One. Lesson number one. I'm going to tighten this transducer like crazy so that when I have it in the water, it doesn't just keep moving. It keeps coming out just because the water just pushes it out. Okay. Number two. I'm going to make sure I have at least 100 feet of line 